Hey guys, hope y'all doing good today. So there's a lot of green in the market today and a couple of reasons why. So I'm going to talk about exactly the background of what's going on behind the scenes and what's causing these recent pumps that we've had. So first thing we're going to talk about is actually the new website layout of Goldman Sachs. So anyone who doesn't know, Goldman Sachs is one of the biggest global investment banking firms in the world. And they recently changed their layout on their homepage. And if you read it, it says, Digitalization from cryptocurrencies to the metaverse, explore the mega trends that are reshaping economies. So again, they have cryptocurrencies literally on their homepage and that caused a lot of stir a couple days ago. And a lot of people are saying, hey, if this biggest, you know, one of the biggest leading banks and investment firms are talking about cryptocurrency and actually displaying it on their homepage, that's gonna make a lot of other banks really kind of get that FOMO and not wanna miss out and kind of have those in reserves as well. So. Again, that's a big thing that I think a lot of people have seen and just see, you know, one of the extra things for the catalyst for Bitcoin's continued rise. Now, the bigger thing that's actually been causing Bitcoin to pump is actually this guy here, Do Kwon. Do Kwon, he is the founder of Luna. So Luna is actually um, a side chain of UST. So it's basically UST is run on the uh, Terraform money system and UST is its own stable coin and Luna is kind of like, kind of goes hand in hand with UST. And basically what Do Kwon is doing is he is purchasing billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin over the course of, let's say, X amount of days. There's no really set time frame. He's just kind of purchasing them in $125 million increments. And I'm gonna explain exactly why he's doing that. But basically on his Twitter today, uh, he's been really bullish and he posted, we have a message for the citizens of Goblin Town. Your days are numbered. Our orange battalions will overwhelm your defenses and return your cities to the dirt. Your fields will be sown with salt so that no future bearish thoughts will grow. The moon is coming, okay? The moon is kind of like the symbol um, for Doquan and for Terra. So, uh, for Luna more so. But basically, one of the biggest things is the reason that he's buying all of this. There's actually an article that talks about it. And the blockcrypto.com talks about Doquan reveals plan to increase UST's Bitcoin reserve to $3 billion, okay? A big thing with stable coins, if people don't know, is stable coins, they can lose their peg if they don't have enough backing, okay, enough reserves. And that's what we've seen with Magic Internet Money. I don't know if you remember that, but it had a big de-pegging um, during its time. And again, any stability, any huge sells with no buys accompanying them will cause a mass de-pegging. Now, however long that lasts, you know, just depends how fast the buybacks and the reserves kick into place. But with Do Kwon, he's actually working to make Bitcoin the reserve currency because he sees Bitcoin as basically a stable asset versus any other asset. So it says, Terraform Labs CEO Do Kwon said Luna Foundation Guard has raised $2.2 billion for a Bitcoin reserve. The LFG has the funds and the intention to increase this to $3 billion, he added. And we can actually see this because here's a post guy by at Crypto Harry. He says, Terra has $1.4 billion ready to buy BTC and you still think we're going into a bear market, not gonna make it. Luna, UST, and BTC are about to pump the entire market, okay? This guy posted it later tonight, and you can see they clearly have 1.4 billion there. Now, going for the article, it says, LFG, a Singapore-based nonprofit working on the Terra blockchain, will use the Bitcoin as a reserve asset for Terra UST, the largest algorithmic stablecoin on the blockchain. In response to queries as to how the foundation will source the 3 billion, Quan said LFG has already raised $1 billion via over-the-counter sales of Luna, Terra's native token, for Bitcoin and collected another $1.2 billion by selling UST for Tether. Quan added that the foundation will need another $800 million to meet the $3 billion target. It says the purchase will make up one leg of Terra's long-term plans of amassing $10 billion of Bitcoin reserve for UST. Quan explained that to get to that mark, the stablecoin may set aside a portion of the Senioraje, the protocol's revenue generated from issuing UST, to accumulate Bitcoin. Now, Senioraje is a you know complicated term, sounds like it, and a lot of people don't know what it means. So if you just search it on Google, it says the profit made by government by issuing currency, especially the difference between the face value of coins and their production cost. So again, just capturing that difference in the cost of producing and basically the selling of the face value of it, okay? A little bit different meaning in cryptocurrency, but you get what it means, just cost of operations, right? And the, basically the cost of the profit that they make from that. So whether it's transaction fees or anything of that sort. Now it says, Quan also commented that the foundation will create a bridge to introduce billions of dollars worth of tokenized Bitcoin onto Terra and use as reserves in the stablecoin protocol. 
The new mechanism may require a change in stablecoins protocol, the details of which remain scant at the moment, okay? Basically, all it says here is just maintaining a large Bitcoin reserve. LFG will make it possible users to redeem UST for Bitcoin in an effort to instill confidence among UST holders. So again, kind of taking that, you know, having Bitcoin as a reserve, it makes it a lot easier if people want to sell that UST to go back to Bitcoin and vice versa, okay? So that's actually genius. And, you know, for him to have, makes basically makes it easier for the UST to keep peg more than, more than not, okay? So that's a big thing that's been going on recently, and I'm sure you've seen it. There's been a lot of big buybacks happening lately, and you can even see that you know there's a lot of a lot of tweets about it. Uh, a Pompliano has actually had a podcast about it 13 hours ago. He mentions it, talks about with Doquan about where UST stablecoin is going, and again, there's a lot of people talking about it, and he's kind of like the bull in the crypto market right now. So uh, if you want to call him the savior, if you want to call him you know person that's starting the bull market. But he is definitely creating a dent in that. And there's also one more thing I want to talk about um, is Russia. Russia actually mentioned that they will accept Bitcoin from friendly allies um, for their gas prices. So actually, if you just search Russia accept crypto and you can see here, it says Russia could sell gas for Bitcoin, says Energy Committee chief. Uh, chief. So again, that's something that has been in the news today as well for Russia accepting Bitcoin payments for energy exports. So again, that's stuff that's creating a pump in the market. So again, a lot of stuff is creating the green that we're seeing today. Um, and we could see a sustained bull run, at least in the short term, combined with Doquan and other countries accepting Bitcoin more, again, pending any crazy uh, black swan events. So again, you know, always be careful with this stuff. Always take your profits along the way, but just want to explain with you what's been going on, what's causing these pumps and definitely stuff to keep in mind um, when you are talking with other people about, you know, what's been going on recently. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, uh, please comment and please subscribe if you haven't. I would really, really appreciate it. You guys, thank you so much for watching till next time.